See that? She's smiling. Hmm? Why is she smiling? Gas. <laughs> That's what you said last time. Last time was eight seconds ago. I mean, every time she smiles, it's because she has gas? Now, look at that. She's smiling right at me. That's not a smile for gas, that's a smile for daddy. Oh, God. What's the matter? She's frowning. I mean, why is she frowning? Gas again. <laughs> now, what's the matter? What, what do you mean? Well, she's not doing anything. I mean, she's just lying there with her eyes closed. I think they call that sleeping. <laughs> she went. That's not normal. I'm calling a doctor. She went. Jody, honey, babies, go. But she went an hour ago. Jody, she's just a little baby. All right, I'll change her. Oh, Come no, on. let me do it. Oh, please, Alice, I want to do, do it, please. Oh, you'll be late for work. Let me do it. Come here, little wind. Come here, little girl. Yes, oh, yes. Bye, Daddy. Yeah. I guess I'm being a, a little overprotective. Oh, I think it's beautiful. You're a wonderful father. And you're a wonderful grandmother for bringing Wendy to see me. Thank you, Mrs. David, and please thank Carol for me. Actually, Carol had nothing to do with it. She doesn't even know we're here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Carol's gone. She ran off with a cowboy. <laughs> Actually, he's not a real cowboy. He just dresses like one. <laughs> Carol doesn't want the baby? <clears throat> but I know you do. That's what I came here to find out. You gonna let me have her? It depends. What are you talking about? Jody, I hate to say this. It's because I'm gay. No, Lord sakes, you're the father. I like you. Then what is it? Alice. Alice. Look, I know what you're thinking. If I can accept you, I can accept her. I mean, I know it's silly. What's another homo, more or less? <laughs> but, Jody, I just can't help it. One homo, fine. But two homos, that's just one homo too many. Mrs. David, excuse me, but this is my home. And Alice is my friend. Now, I am very grateful to you for bringing Wendy to see me. But seeing as how Carol abandoned her, she is now my legal responsibility. Well, Jody, if you insist on having Alice stay here, I'm going to have to take the baby back to Texas with me. I'll take you to court. You'll lose. No, I won't. Two homosexuals bringing up a little baby, you won't stand a chance in court. Oh, Jody, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to hurt you. I, I don't want to keep you from your daughter. But I'm her grandmother, and I can't help the way I feel. You're asking me to choose between my best friend and my child. If you love your child, the choice is easy. You got five minutes? No physical contact. No loud or rude behavior, and no eating. I could have just phoned. Fine, no rudeness. Thank you. It's gone. God, this place is a slime pit. That matron searches you like you've got an arsenal in your pantyhose. <laughs> Dirty screws! Alice, please, honey. Come on, we only got five minutes. Give me a handbag. What? Come on, give it to me. I come to visit you and you're holding me up? Lipstick, rouge, eye crap. Great, that's everything I need. Stepping out tonight? <laughs> Come on, Eunice, quit clowning around. Help me get into this stuff. Dutch, is there something about you that I should know? <laughs> what? Oh, you guys, you're doing a play. Little women, right? What? <laughs> Sip me up, will you, darling? Oh, honey, I know it's lonely here in prison, but really, this is too much. It's the tights. Why didn't you just shave your legs? Are you kidding? I get razor burn. It stings like hell. Tish, what are you doing? Eunice, I don't have time. I'm escaping. You're escaping? I've been planning this for weeks. Are you crazy? You can't escape. I got you a release. Huh? A release. I got you a release. 
The DA says you can be on the street in two weeks if you just cooperate. And may I say that those shoes with that handbag are out of the question. A release? A release. All you have to do is sign a statement saying you'll turn state's evidence. Honey, this is horrible. Couldn't they get you something in a solid color? Unisys was planted here by a guy named Knuckles. What do you expect? And you can forget about that state's evidence stuff. I ain't no stool pigeon. Here, give me those earrings. This is crazy. Why can't you just cooperate with the authorities? Eunice, what kind of a man do you think I am? <laughs> we got a code in prison, Eunice. And the code says a man doesn't think on his fellow inmates. A code? You're choosing some stupid code over me? You are willing to blow any chance we have of being together for a code? Honey, this could be my last chance. Your last chance? What about me? It could be my last chance, Dutch. Let me tell you something. Honey, I don't have time. Listen to me. Dutch, all my life I lived in my sister's shadow. She was always the beautiful one, always the talented one. She got the ballet lessons and I got her hand-me-downs. She was the apple of everybody's eye until you came along. You made me feel like I was somebody special. Like I was important and wonderful. <laughs> you were the first one to look at Eunice Tate and say, I love her for what she is. Don't you see, honey? You are my last chance. And I love you so much. Gee, honey, I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> well, I never told anyone before. I guess that's just how it is when you're the little sister. Well, yeah, I guess, only... Only what? You're not the little sister. Corinne is. Well, so what? It makes a better story. <laughs> the point is, darling, I love you. I love you, too. Oh, my God. Let's try it again, Billy. Sleep. No, Billy. No sleep. Not yet. You must first tell us who is Lord and Master. Who is Lord and Master, Billy? It's Reverend Sung, isn't it, Billy? Now, Billy, we don't want to have to give you any more electrical shock. So just tell us, who is Lord and Master? Billy, who? Reverend Sung is Lord and Master. Ah, he's cleared. This is wonderful. Very good, Billy. Reverend Sung. Very, very Lord good. And Master. We'll come back for a visit Reverend tomorrow. Sung. In the meantime, Master. sleep. Reverend Sung is Lord and Master. Come, Roger. Reverend Sung. Nice, Billy. Reverend Sung is Lord of Man. Accomplished. We made it. The diversion worked. I don't believe it. Incredible. We must have scaled that wall in 15 seconds. I gotta hand it to you, Major. Nice work, sir. Thank you, Bentley. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. In freaking incredible! <laughs> We've done great so far. Let's not blow it. If they catch us now, we're sunk. Sunk? What do you mean, sunk? Sunk. The big sleep. Game time. No extra point. Good night, Irene. Good night. <laughs> Shut up, you little twerp. God, how I hate you! Insectiado! <laughs> Stop it! Somebody's coming! Okay. This one's mine! Yours is the little one! <laughs> there is no little one, you moron! They're all the same size! <laughs> Was 
us close. Now, we've got to keep ourselves very carefully hidden or we'll get caught. No, we won't just hide behind pork belly here. <laughs> Benson, will you tell her to shut up? Shut up! Thank you. Shut up! Hey, you! Who? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Who are you? Who are we? The Step Brothers, where's the audition? <laughs> Audition? Here? Oh, uh, the audition's here? Okay, well, let's hit it, fellas. You and Corporal Donahue have got to approach the room on the right flank. And Birnbaum, come with me. <laughs> Who is Birnbaum? <laughs> you are Birnbaum. <laughs> After you go ahead, I insist. You little wimp. <laughs> hey, stop! <laughs> We've been expecting you. 